Defender of the Crown was created by Kellen Beck and it was the first release by Cinemaware. The game is set in England in the Middle Ages where different factions are fighting over territorial control. Defender of the Crown was released in 86 for the Commodore Amiga and it was a beautiful game. And it floored people because no one had ever really seen computer game graphics like this before. This was Cinemaware's first game and they ended up setting the new graphics standard for computer games. Cinemaware was called Cinemaware for a reason. These were some of the first like true cinematic type games that you saw on a computer. If not the first, one of the first in, in what has become kind of a staple of the PC uh, gaming scene and that is medieval like strategy. You were trying to gain territories, amass armies. There's just so much to it that you didn't see in other video games prior that were very straightforward in their focus. In addition to strategic battles, you could also have jousting matches that looked really good. Prior strategy games were strategy and nothing but. This had arcade type sequences, yeah. this had strategy sequences. Game designer Bob Lindstrom said the first time he saw it, they knew that the stakes had been raised. There were certain things in Defender of the Crown that unfortunately never made it into the Amiga version, like um, flaming uh, fireballs for the catapults and whatnot that they did end up putting into the IBM compatible versions. Uh, but those did not look nearly as nice as the Amiga versions did. But all around, you know, all the versions were very playable. Defender of the Crown is truly a gorgeous game for the time that I would never play found its niche, it's found its home in the PC realm, and, and here is where it begins.